Welcome back. Today we are solving a sequential discovery puzzle by Tyler Williams. He is a wood turner, wood maker, wood creator, puzzle designer from the USNA, the greatest country in the world. <laughs> Borat vibes. Tyler Williams has been designing puzzles and building them for quite a while now. He's really getting some experience in the field. His first puzzles I personally didn't really relate to, but as time passed, I liked them more and more until I finally saw some puzzle that I really liked at his place and he kindly sent them for me for the video. Today we'll solve the locking pin. This is a sequential discovery puzzle. It's very small and the goal is to remove a coin out of the puzzle. Now, hopefully you will enjoy this puzzle. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's an amazingly built and designed puzzle. Really, really nice. And it's also pretty complicated for its size. So great puzzle overall. I'll put a link to the store in the video description. Please like and subscribe so this video reaches more people. And let's start solving the locking pin puzzle. This one consists of a few different layers layers of wood. I'm not sure if it's laser cut or not, maybe it is, but I can see that it's polished really well. This is a sequential discovery puzzle where the goal is to remove the coin. Here should be the coin, but since probably because this was overseas shipping, Tyler had to send the puzzle without the coin. So we need to access this compartment for a coin. We will find tools on the way and as far as I heard this is not an easy puzzle go so first things first I can see this layer looks to me like it will go out in the end here I can see probably a tool that I will be able to take out I'm not sure if any of the layers here move. I really like the woods used for this and I can see two holes. So probably the first step would be to remove this rod. And I'm not sure if it will be by force or pushing or pulling. I do hear a lot of things moving. Maybe spinning. I can hear a lot of bulb bearings inside. Okay, seems like this is the theory, right? We have this tool. When I release it, I will be able to take these two pieces to the sides and then probably push something that will unlock the final layer. Now, in this final layer, I have two circular things. I'm not sure if they're buttons and I cannot seem to move this at all. I am not sure if I can move any of the layers. I will try, maybe try to find some hidden compartment, maybe some hidden button on the wood. It doesn't seem like there's any of this. Wooden puzzles always have the possibility of something secretly moving. Oh, nice. Okay, so there was probably a strong magnet there. Let's try this again. Yeah, there's a strong magnet. Just had to hit it really hard with my hand. And now let's try moving stuff. Oh, nice. Cool, did you see that? I tried to move this using the hole and when you release it, bam, it goes back. It's magnetized, interesting. So this here I cannot move to neither direction. There's some pieces in the middle. What if I pull it down, then use gravity. Hmm. There's a ball bearing here and when it's locking this, I can't move the piece, but if it's here, I can move it. So probably same thing with this, ball bearing locking this. If I put it like so, I'll be able to move it, I believe. But another problem I see is that all the pieces, when I push them, they want to go back. And I have nothing to do about this. Like, I can maybe try and hold this with something, but no, the pieces just want to go back. As long as I pull them, they will always come back in the end, which is a challenge I need to find a way to cope with. So this is probably the only things we play with. Oh, what if I play with the ball bearing? Like, there's a ball bearing that locks it, right? What if I try to get it back inside? Okay, yeah, so the ball bearing now locks this, and when the ball bearing locks the hole, I can pull the second hole, which is amazing. And now let's lock it again. Bam, it's locked, and I can now use the pin to probably access the final part. Oof, nice. Now that this is here, I can see a large hole in the side. Let's see if it maybe unlocks something in the other side. Oh no, no, this is locked again. It just went back. Oh my God. Okay, so same trick happens here as well. I can play with the slider. 
Ooh, I just pulled a magnet here. So this was a map. Oh, so, oh my God, that's an amazing mechanism. You need to see this, guys. I pulled one of the sliders all the way and I pulled the magnet. And now this magnet here that I pulled with the rod is blocking the slider from going back. And also it opened a hole here. So that's probably super important. And the next step would be to do the same thing on the other side so we can unlock the hole here. And through this, we will push the pin and then unlock the puzzle. Now here should be a coin, remember that. So probably when the coin is there, we can push it. But because there's no coin, we'll need to put something there and unlock the puzzle this way. Oh no, our progress just got deleted <laughs> while I was explaining you the puzzle. Well, no worries. Okay. And now the pin goes through here. We have unlocked the final move. Sometimes you need to improvise. Since the puzzle came with no coin, we need to put one of our own. Okay, let's go with, oh no, it's too small. Oh no, it's released again. What if that's not the final move? Okay, this is now being held. While this is held, I can do the move. Oh my God. Okay, so probably the puzzle would need to be standing like so, or at least not upside down while I'm executing the second slider because the pin that locks the first slider, the one that's easier, I think it is being pushed by gravity. And when the box is standing, the whole slider is locked. Maybe before I go and do that, I will find something already that I can put inside. How about this shackle? No. I need something even smaller to put inside and then to push. Nice. Okay, okay. I basically, what I did now, I just pulled this out. I just took this and pulled this out, which is possible when the coin is not there. But what needed to be done is to actually do what I said with this part where I open both of the holes. When I reach the end state with each hole, check out what happens. You can see that in the middle, a hole is appearing. With this half hole, we can pull through half of the stick, but then we can do the same thing on this side and release the other part. And when we do so, then the other part of the hole is here as well. And then we can push the pin all the way through this hole and push the coin and with this, we can release the puzzle. Let's actually demonstrate this. So I put a coin inside and I close it like so. Maybe even a bigger coin should be inside, so I cannot pull it out. Okay, I'll put a bunch of fen agorot, which is an Israeli currency, and then close it, like so. Now it's impossible to pull it, and now we'll demonstrate the final solution. One half is already done, and we need to hold the puzzle like so all the time, since if I hold it upside down, the pen will unlock the slider. So this is something I need to be really careful about. Okay, now we can use the hole. Bam. And now I put the pin inside and I push everything. And the puzzle is officially solved in 27 and a half minutes. Pretty nice sequential discovery. I think we had around seven or eight steps here. A nice little tool and some nice mechanisms holding everything in place. We cannot see everything that's going on inside, but it was pretty fascinating to unravel the solution of this puzzle. So if you guys enjoyed this puzzle as much as I have, I'd really appreciate your likes, your comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.